I love the KJV. By his stripes, ye are healed. And I picture just the, the tearing and just the blood and the causing the whipping and just the streaks of blood. And it's just, I hate to be graphic, but that's what our Lord did. Rejoice in that, church. Please, for your own benefit. By his wounds, we are healed. By his wounds, he washes away all of your sin. Right? Not some of your sin, not 99% of your sin. If it's 99, we are condemned. We are damned to hell. All of our sin washes it clean. And then he gives us new life. It's not just, well, you're clean and that's it. Just, you know, live your best life, whatever. No, now we walk in the newness of life that he calls us to live. Which then when you do that and you have a great appreciation, all the junk that other people do to you is peanuts. It's dust. It's nonsense compared to the offense that he's already forgiven you. By his wounds, we are healed. The suffering servant is better. The lamb is better. Jesus is better. He's better than our gossip. He's better than our bitter hearts. He's better than our lust. He's better than our envy. He's better than our immorality. He's better than our anger. The Lamb of God, the suffering servant, Isaiah is talking about, that the eunuch is reading about, that Philip tells him about, he dies so that we may have liberty and not be slaves again. To put back on the yoke of slavery, like, like the horse or the, the, the yoke, the, the oxen that pulls it. Do not submit again to that, Paul tells us. But rather flee to Christ. Because he'll take you. Again, it's not about being good. It's not about being righteous. We know this, right? It's not about you doing better. You're never going to do better. I'm never going to do better. You're going to stumble once again, and oh, I'm not going to do it again. I won't. I promise. Yeah, right. So kingdom come, that's going to happen. But that doesn't bar you. That actually qualifies you in the inheritance of the saints. 